my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 GovSatcom conference, which has broken some major records this year. 900 participants registered who traveled to Luxembourg from many different countries, 44 speakers, 40 partners. Good morning, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. One year ago, on the exact day, I was addressing this audience as Russian troops had just started invading Ukraine. The important role of satellite communication in the modern conflict has become evident. Efficient and secure communication channels ensure command and control over all our forces in the field and allows them to fulfill their missions with success. I think the announcement that uh, Minister Bausch made this morning uh, regarding the partnership between the Luxembourg government and the United States Department of Defense on the use of SES's Empower constellation was really great. The partnership that we have now with NATO Support Procurement Agency to make that happen, I think that was a fantastic announcement. It was great to come here to GovSat and make that announcement. The key announcement of this event is actually Minister Bauer's announcement of uh, the commitment of the Luxembourg defense into uh, O3B Empower, you know, in a cooperation between Luxembourg and also the US uh, Army. And so that is a really, really, really key message of this event. Uh, and, you know, it couldn't come at a better moment in the uh, relatively tense geopolitical situation uh, today. The key topics, and there would be two, would be first, that governments now cooperate with the commercial industry to provide services to armies in an operational environment. And the second one would be that multi-orbit constellations are becoming a real part of the strategy and of the operations in the satellite world for defense players. And that is a really, really good and promising evolution for the years to come. There's a demand in resiliency, there's a demand for diversifying the own communications and the own network. And one of the trends is, of course, to have a kind of uh, roaming uh, capability between various systems and satellites, and also a kind of roaming and, uh, and sharing of capacity between multi-orbits. And uh, I think that this is one of the key trends that we will see growing further, both on the space segment, but as well as important also the ground segment at the end of the day that needs to support this. The commercial space sector is vibrant and the opportunities are amazing. We in the UK signed a contract with a major conglomerate of uh, companies last week in order to support our future Skynet capability. So those types of things epitomise what it means in order to work collaboratively not only with other countries but with industry, academia and move forward genuinely for the benefit of everybody in the world. And it starts to build out that understanding across society of how important space is to them. This is my first year coming to GovSat and it has been a fantastic event. It's the one place that I have the opportunity to meet with both government and industry partners uh, that we work with and some that we haven't worked with across Europe. And so the opportunity to come here and meet with everybody and talk about GovSatcom partnership opportunities has been really beneficial. GovSatcom this year has been obviously a massive success. And I think that we're here in Luxembourg at this incredible venue with 900 delegates is an example of not only the importance to Luxembourg and the European Union and all other nations and the NATO and the other alliances that we're working from that that many delegates have decided to come to this particular event. I think it's going to be hard pushed for next year to keep this in one day given the enthusiasm that you can feel in the room and at the networking and I just think this year it's been such a marvellous success, I can't look forward until next.